The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Friends, every Lucky you light gives you a smoother, milder, more enjoyable smoke. There's never a rough puff in a Lucky because LSMFT, Lucky Strike, means fine tobacco. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco, ripe, light, naturally mild leaf that always gives you a more deeply enjoyable smoke, puff after puff, with never a rough puff. Now, fine tobacco like this costs more, and Luckies pay more, millions of dollars more than official parity prices, to get fine tobacco that guarantees more real, deep-down smoking enjoyment for you. Remember, too, the men who really know tobacco, the independent tobacco experts, choose Lucky Strike for their own personal smoking enjoyment. In fact, a recent survey reveals that more auctioneers, buyers, and warehousemen smoke Lucky Strike regularly than the next two leading brands combined. So, friends, for your own real deep-down smoking enjoyment, smoke the smoke tobacco experts smoke Lucky Strike. Yes, light up a Lucky and enjoy a milder, smoother smoke with never a rough puff. You'll agree, in all the world, there's no finer cigarette than Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. <laughs> The Lucky Strike Program, starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you go out to Beverly Hills and look in the windows of Jack Benny's house, you will see a very pretty Christmas tree, a picture of peace and serenity. But if you could have been there yesterday, well, why not? <laughs> well, we're almost through trimming the tree, Mary. She was nice of you to come over and help me. Well, if I didn't, you'd never get it done. Say, Jack, shall I put the snow around the bottom now? Not yet. I want to see if the lights are working. I'll hold up the bulbs. When I say ready, you plug it in. Okay. Ready? Ready. Pull it out! Pull it out! Pull it out! <laughs> My goodness. Oh, Jack, why'd you make me shot it off? Those lights were so pretty, especially those two blue ones that kept clashing on and off. Those were my eyes. <laughs> I must have been holding on to a bare wire. Well, it's your own fault. Every time you fool around with electricity, something goes wrong. It does not. I know plenty about electricity. Oh, sure. Remember what happened yesterday when you fixed your doorbell? What happened? I pushed the button, roasted a pig in Encino. <laughs> oh, stop exaggerating. Anyway, hand me that roll of tape. I'll fix this bare wire right now. Here you are. Thanks. Now, let's see. To insulate a bare wire, you just tape it up like, hmm, like this. There. That ought to be enough tape. All right, Mary, plug it in. Okay. Pull it out! Pull it out! Pull it out! Uh, Jack, what happened? I taped my finger to the wire. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, gee, and that time was even prettier than before. What do you mean? Your nose lit up, too. <laughs> it did not. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Benny, the red-nosed reindeer. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, let's get this tree finished before the gang gets here. But, Jack, what about the light? Oh, we'll have to let that go until later. Now, hand me one of those candy canes so I can... Oh, Mr. Benny! What is it, Rochester? I baked that cake like you told me to. Good, good. You have enough whipped cream to spell out Merry Christmas? Yeah! Uh, say, boss, how many R's in Merry? Two. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you better add one. Add one? I better cross one out. I got three. <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it. It's better than ruining the cake. Okay. Uh, oh, Rochester, will you please take these Christmas tree lights and fix them? Fix them? Yes. I ain't fooling around with electricity. Now, what are you afraid of? I don't want to get hit by nothing I can't hit back. <laughs> oh, Rochester, imagine being afraid of electricity. Suppose Robert Fulton was afraid. He never would have invented the electric light, would he? 
<laughs> Jack, what? you're thinking of Thomas Edison. Edison? Well, then what did Robert Fulton do? He wrote Mule Train. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, Rochester, please fix these lights. Okay, okay. Now, let me see. In electricity, there's the <laughs> electrons and the electrodes, and then there's the positive and the negative, but I ain't positive which one is negative. <laughs> hmm. Then there's the atoms. Now, the atoms are supposed to go from the positive to the negative, or maybe they go from the electrons to the electrodes. Then again, maybe they go from Amos to Andy. <laughs> Rochester. Now, as long as these atoms keep passing each other, everything is all right. But when they meet halfway and start fighting, they're going to turn on anybody who tries to butt in. <laughs> Rochester, I'm not interested in the scientific details. I just want you to fix those lights. And I promise you, while you're holding the wires, no one in this room will turn on the switch. I uh, know, boss. While I'm holding the wire, you ain't going to turn on the switch. And Miss Livingston ain't gonna turn on the switch. Of course not. But way up there at Boulder Dam, there's a little man sitting in a room with thousands of wires all around him. So what? How do I know he ain't gonna do something just to break the monotony? <laughs> oh, all right. I'll fix it myself. Come on, Mary. Help me finish the tree. Okay, Jack. Hand me that candy cane, will you? Here you are. Da da dum dum, dee da da dum. I'll put the cane right next to the drum. Santa Claus is coming to town. Let's see, where's that star? Deedle dum, deedle dum dee. I'll put the star on top of the tree. Santa Claus is coming to town. See, that looks swell. Doesn't he it? sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're away. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. So you better watch out. You better not cry. Mary, you're cute, and so <laughs> am I. Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, Mary, we got all the packages under the tree. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, but you better pick those lights up off the floor before somebody steps on them. Oh, yes. Now, where can I put them? I'll put them here on this chair. Now, Mary, some of the gifts I had sent direct from the store, but there's Phil Harris's present. Put it under the tree. Boy, will he be surprised. But, Jack, how will he be surprised? You've got toilet water written all over the box. Well, you've got to do that with Phil. When he opens a package and finds a bottle, he never stops to read the label. <laughs> Last year, I gave him a miniature ship and a bottle, and the mask stuck out of his mouth for three days. <laughs> Every time I asked him something, he had to answer me through the crow's nest. <laughs> Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Well, Jack, I guess that does it. The tree's all finished. Yeah. Gee, it looks well. I'm kind of tired. I think I'll sit down for a minute and smoke a Lucky. Mary, have you got a match? No. Oh, say, boss. What is it, Rochester? Are your socks dry yet? I think so. Well, people will be here soon. You better take them off the tree. <laughs> oh, that's right. You take them off, will you, Rochester? I'm tired. I want to sit here a while. Yes, sir. Say, this tree looks awful nice, but it's kind of dark. Oh, no wonder the lights aren't plugged in. I'll fix that. Pull it out! Pull it out! Pull it out! For heaven's sake. Well, what happened this time? I'm sitting on the wire. <laughs> now, as long as you're here, Rochester, give me a match. You don't need it now. Your cigarette is lit. <laughs> oh, yes. Thanks, Rochester. Don't thank me. Thank that little man up at Boulder Dam. <laughs> Never mind. Don't plug that in anymore. I've had enough trouble with it. Come in. Oh, hello, Phil. Hiya, Jackson. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Well, deck the halls with turnip greens if that ain't a lovely Christmas tree. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, Jackson, you ought to see the one I've got. It's all decorated with a lot of ornaments, and I got tinsel on it and everything. And then right up on the top, I got a picture of Alice. Alice? Phil, you're supposed to have a picture of Santa Claus. She's Santa Claus to me, Dad. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, but no kidding, Jackson. I think we got the prettiest tree in Encino. Uh, by the way, Phil, what are you having for Christmas dinner? A roast pig. What? <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but when I went out to feed it this morning, it was cooked standing up. <laughs> You see, Jack? I told you. I thought you were kidding. So did I. <laughs> Isn't that strange? What are you two mumbling about? Nothing, nothing. 
Hey, Phil, what do you got in that package there? Oh, I almost forgot, Jackson. It's, uh, it's a present for you. For me? Yeah. Me and the boys of the band all chipped in and got it for you. Well, thanks, Phil. I'll put it under the tree. No, 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 you don't. Go ahead, open it up now. Okay. See, it's certainly nice of you and the boys. Oh, Phil, thanks. See, a beautiful turtleneck sweater. Oh, gee. Look inside of it, Jackson. Inside? Oh, Phil. Uh, what is it, Jack? A turtle. <laughs> fine present to give me. I'll fix him. Come here, Phil. Uh, Phil, uh, sit down on this chair and relax. Huh? huh? Go ahead, Phil. Sit down. Thanks, Jackson. Are you comfortable, Phil? Sure. Good, good. Mary, push in the plug. Oh, Jack. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Hand me the plug. I'll give it to him myself. Hey, Jackson, what about my present? Just sit where you are. You'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> it's a surprise. Mary, watch it, Joe. One... Two, three. <laughs> hmm. Phil, Phil, don't you feel anything? No, why? <laughs> hmm. Well, what about the surprise? What's the matter? Uh, we're having a little trouble at Boulder Dam. <laughs> I can't understand what went wrong. Phil, stand up a minute. Okay. Now, let's see. Must be something wrong with this thing. Pull it out! Pull it out! Pull it out! <laughs> mm, a fine thing to do on a guy on Christmas Eve. Well, it's your own fault for trying to play a trick on Phil. Oh, so that's it, eh, Jackson? Trying to give me a high hot foot. <laughs> oh, Phil, I was just trying... Pull it out! Pull it! Jack at the doorbell. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come in. Oh, hello, Don. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, Merry hey, Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas Don. Don. Yeah, come on in, fellas. Oh, you brought the sportsman with you. Merry Christmas, boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad you dropped in. Say, Don, did you get many nice presents this year? Uh, I sure did, Mary, and I couldn't wait. I've opened them already. You have? What'd you get, Don? Well, I got some gold cufflinks, a moving picture camera, a television set, a golf ball, and a diamond wristwatch. Well. Thanks for the golf ball, Jack. <laughs> You're welcome, Don. You do play golf, don't you? No. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, you really ought to take it up, Don. It's great exercise for a fellow like you. There's some beautiful courses around here. Oh, that's fine. You give a guy one golf ball, and right away you want him to join a country club. <laughs> well? Why don't you give him a flea and tell him to go out and buy a dog? <laughs> <laughs> buy a dog, buy a dog. <laughs> now, look, Mary. Well, Jack, the boys and I have to be running along. Well, Don, can't you stay a little longer? Ah, uh, we'd like to, Jack, but the sportsmen have to rush over to the Ambassador Hotel. You know, they're appearing at the Coconut Grove. Oh, yes. Uh, say, Jack, why don't we go over there one night this week? Oh, we will, Mary, we will. Jack, you should have been there last night. The boys did a novelty number for the holiday season that was really wonderful. They called it Yule Train. Oh, you mean Mule Train? No, 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 Jack. Yule Train. <laughs> oh, Yule Train. Say, that's clever. How does it go, Don? Well, come on, boys. Let's have it. Chris Kringle. We hope that every one of you will hear his sleigh bells jingle. And underneath your tree, find some LSMFT. We mean lucky, lucky, lucky strike. 
Everybody wants a carton full of Lucky Strike because they're round and firm and fully packed like good old Santa Claus. You're happy when you pop on a Lucky Sure Enough. Get along, you train, get along. Get up there, Blitzen, higher Prancer, higher Dancer, higher one. Play rider in the sky, yippee-yay, yippee-yay. Santa Claus is riding high, get along, you train, get Don, that was wonderful. We'll be over at the Grove the first chance we get, won't we, Mary? We sure will. Well, that's swell. So long now, kids. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Don. Well, Mary, you're going to stay and have dinner with me, aren't you? Yes, you invited me. Good. Then after dinner, we'll open all the presents. I'll answer the phone, boss. Never mind, Rochester. I'll get it. It's right here. Hello? Now, look, Joe. I haven't got much time, so listen to me. <laughs> I'm phoning to warn you that my husband's wise to us and he's on his way over to your house with a gun. So get out of town, Joe. Get out quick. Remember what happened to Charlie. Uh, Jack, what's the matter? I don't know. Somebody keeps getting my number by mistake. <laughs> it's the second time it happened. First it was Charlie, and now she thinks I'm Joe. Joe who? I don't know. We'll probably read it in the paper tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Rochester, how soon will dinner be ready? In about ten minutes, boss. Oh, good. Say, Jack, it's a little chilly in here. Don't you think so? Yeah, maybe I ought to put another log on the fire. There we are. <clears throat> mm. Gee, this log is heavy. Oh, Rochester! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <laughs> now, let's sit down and wait until we can... All right, you can stop showing off. <laughs> now, let's sit down. You know, Mary, sitting here in front of the fireplace, you look like the prettiest girl in the whole world. If I were a painter, I'd take the reflection of the fires dancing in your hair and paint the loveliest. There's somebody at the door. Well, answer it, Grandma Moses. You can paint my hair later. <laughs> yeah. Coming! Coming! Yes? Good evening, sir. I'm selling Christmas cookies to raise funds for the Girl Scouts. Christmas cookies? Well, you see, I... Oh, you're Jack Benny, aren't you? Yes. Well, it would be silly of you to buy any. You bake them for us. <laughs> That's right. How did you know I baked those cookies? All the gingerbread men have blue eyes. <laughs> ah, well, I'll buy some anyway. I'll take a dozen. How much are they? 25 cents. You mean you only make a penny profit? <laughs> <laughs> In, a penny on 12 cookies? If we break any, we're dead. <laughs> Well, just be careful. By the way, what's your name, young lady? Joan. Oh, that's a nice name. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mary, I just bought some cookies. I'll put them under, on the tree here. Who'd you buy them from? A girl who came to the door. Her name is Joan. Cute, too. You'd think her father would dress her a little better. <laughs> Do you have a cookie, Mary? No, it'll spoil my dinner. Oh, that reminds me. As long as I'm staying here, I better call my maid and tell her I won't be home. Okay. Hello? Hello, Pauline. This is Miss Livingston. Well, I won't be home for dinner, so I thought you'd like to know you could have... Pauline, are you still crying? Pauline, you've got to get a grip on yourself. You've been carrying on like this all week. Now, look. He's married, on his way to Honolulu, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Goodbye.
goodbye. What's wrong, Mary? Oh, that mate of mine. Just because Clark Gable got married, she's been crying for five days. <laughs> five days? Hey, that's ridiculous. Certainly, I got over it in two. <laughs> Everybody makes such a fuss about Gable. Mary, let me ask you something. What's Clark Gable got that I... No. <laughs> no, I'd be a fool to throw you a lead like that. <laughs> you sure would. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mr. Benny. Merry Christmas. Oh, Dennis. I didn't see you. When did you get here? I came in with Phil. Phil, that was quite a while ago. Where have you been? Well, I sneaked upstairs and put your Christmas present under your pillow. Oh, well, what took you so long? I fell asleep. <laughs> oh. Say, Mr. Benny, I'd like to thank you for the present you sent me, but I'm all confused. Confused? Why? All the packages got mixed up and the tags fell off, and I don't know who sent me what. Oh, all the cards fell off? Yeah. Well, look, kid, uh, did you, uh... Uh, did you get a wristwatch? Oh, a beautiful one, solid gold. Well, take my card and put it on that. Now, let's... Uh... Wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> Dennis, I'll tell you what Jack gave you. What else did you get? A portable radio, a cigarette lighter, a candid camera, a silk bathrobe, a golf ball... Bingo. <laughs> Mary. Dennis, Jack gave you that golf ball. Oh... I thought it was kind of funny about Mr. Benny giving me the wristwatch. Why? On the back is engraved to Dennis from Mother and Dad. <laughs> Look, Dennis, on Christmas, it isn't what you get that counts. It's the spirit in which it was given. Every year he says the same thing. <laughs> Certainly, I say it because it's true. More people felt that way than... Oh, Mr. Benny, dinner's ready! Where are you? Oh, on... <laughs> on Christmas Day, you know. <laughs> good, good. Come on, Mary, we'll go to dinner. Uh, Dennis, do you want to have dinner with us? Oh, yeah, that'd be swell. And after dinner, we can all sit around the fire and... Ahem, <clears throat> ahem, <clears throat> Dennis. Dennis, come here a minute. Yes, sir. Over here. Now, look, kid. There's an old saying, two is company and three is a crowd. You know what I mean? Yeah, but how can we get rid of, rid of Mary? <laughs> You nearly lost that one up. <laughs> well, all right, Rochester. There'll be the three of us for dinner. Come on, kids. Gee, I'm hungry. Oh, so am I. I hope Rochester has those big raw carrots. I love them. I like the small carrots. I like the big ones. You always argue about that every <laughs> time. Now, Mary, you sit here. And Dennis, you sit over there. There we are. Now, Rochester, you can get the... Dennis, what happened? I rolled off the chair. I had the golf ball in my back pocket. <laughs> no. Rochester, we're waiting. Coming, boss, coming! Uh, well, Rochester, it's been a very nice Christmas Eve. The gang dropped in, we had a quiet dinner, and now they've gone home. Believe me, I'm ready for bed. Yes, sir. Uh, wait a minute, boss. I'll fluff up your pillow for you. Mm. What's the matter, Rochester? There's a package under here. Oh, yes, it's from Dennis. It's my Christmas present. Well, open it. Open it. Okay. Oh, well, this is lovely. A beautiful electric alarm clock. And instead of numbers around the face, it has 12 letters that spell out Jackson Benny. Yeah, sure is nice. Well, I might as well start using it right now. Rochester, you set it to the right time, and I'll plug it in. Okay. Uh, it's 11.30 now, so I'll set it to... Put it out! Put it out! Put it out! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rochester. I didn't mean... Rochester. Rochester. Oh, my goodness. Rochester, speak to me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The lights lit up on the Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, good, good. Merry Christmas, Rochester. Merry Christmas, boss. <laughs> and 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Day will sing Schubert's Ave Maria. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.